what's up? Happy Monday. Welcome to FG Nightly. Um, a couple of weeks ago, you guys got the good fortune of being in the homes of some of our worship leaders. So this week we're doing the same with some of our pastors and their families. Mm -hmm. So welcome to uh, Casa de Thompson here in our living room. You may know me. I am Jim. I'm James. I'm Anna. I'm Sarah. Um, we don't know what you guys have been doing trying to keep busy during isolation, but we have taken the task of trying to learn how to cook a little bit better. And so Jim and I have been in the kitchen and we've been busy and um, it's been really fun. And I'm really thankful for the time to kind of try some new recipes. Um, so what do you guys think? What's your favorite thing that we've learned how to cook? My favorite thing is the chicken that we made. Oh, we've made fried chicken. Meatballs. <laughs> we made meatballs. I tried to do spicy chicken batter, but it was terrible. I just need to pick up the spice game a little it wasn't bit. Spicy. It, was, it wasn't spicy <laughs> at all. Uh, James, what's one of your favorite things that we've been doing during? I've been making video games with my friends on Zoom calls. Nice. And, yeah. And it's so fun. How many video games have you made? Three in three weeks. And the reason we're letting him do that is because we think it's going to lead to a scholarship. Am I right? Is that right? <laughs> I have no uh, idea what you just said. <laughs> um, well, what we want to do tonight, just for a few minutes with you guys, is we just want to take a deep breath and uh, a say la uh, from Charlie's sermon a few weeks ago. We want to pause, take a deep breath, and we just want to offer a little bit of space for you guys for some scripture and some prayer and meditation. And how we're going to do this tonight is we're going to read through Psalm 23 super slowly. So here's how we're going to do it. Myself and James and Anna, we're going to read through the scripture passage together. And then Sarah will offer us a brief prayer after every line of scripture. And then we're just going to leave you guys with a few seconds to pause and think about um, that and pray and meditate on it. And we're going to do Psalm 23. <clears throat> so it's a classic and really, really beautiful and pretend you've never heard these words before because they're so, so good. So here we go. Let us pray. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Father, teach us what it means to be satisfied in you and to know you as our shepherd and provider. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. We believe that you want to lead us into peace. And even though it can be tough, we thank you for the stillness of life right now. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Jesus, thank you for blazing the trail of righteousness and faithfulness with the Father. May we learn to walk humbly in that path for your sake and not ours. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, because you're with me. Holy Spirit, fear can feel so near in these days. Cause us to deeply know your presence with us in this dark valley. Your rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Lord, you are our shepherd that protects, corrects, and comforts us. Even when our enemies are close, and we praise you for your rod and staff of love. You warm my head with oil, my, my cup overflows. Father, you have blessed us more than we deserve. Our cups are spilling over with your grace and mercy. So make us increasingly humble and grateful for your kindness. Surely your goodness and your love will follow after me all of the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Spirit, we thank you for your servants of goodness and love that are always chasing us down. Thank you for your promises that we are yours forever. Help us to believe them more wholeheartedly. Father, Son, and Spirit, we thank you that throughout the whole Bible, God, you are our shepherd. <laughs> and as our shepherd, um, we're kind of silly, dumb sheep sometimes, and we need to learn to trust you for your provision in all things in weird times like the one that we're in right now. 
we need to learn that you will provide for us. You will give us what we need and uh, we shall not want. And even when our enemies may be close and we can feel their breath on our neck, whether um, those enemies are financial or emotional or economic or whatever they are, we want to learn the art of happily and humbly trusting you. So we thank you that you are our shepherd and we want to trust you as such. You're really, really good to us, God. We love you a lot. Fellowship Greenville, we're in this thing together all the way to the end. We're on Team Faith over Team Fear. Mm -hmm. And we believe that if you take a deep breath in all of this, that your walk with Jesus will grow stronger and your love for God stronger as well. Uh, so let us know if you need anything. Go by the website and do all that fun stuff. And we love you guys. Adios. Bye. Bye. Bye.